Amen, saints. With this current prophetic move that has been uh, uh, happening in the earth for the past like 10, 20 years, uh, amen, we have seen a lot of influx of prophetic people and prophets, people that have been used by God mightily. And I have also noticed something that, uh, as you can see, there are also a lot of false prophets rising in the earth speaking on, they speaking for God, but God has never sent them. They say they hear from God, they see visions, and the Bible says there are those that see visions from their own heart and also the Bible says be old in the last days there will be false prophets that will rise and the question is what is a true prophet and what is a false prophet let me tell something there's a lot of true prophets of God that can end up false that's one thing many people don't understand many people don't talk about let me explain this when you begin to go beyond the word of God and go beyond uh, the leading of the spirit of God and you begin to step into a spirit of divination a familiar spirit will begin to take over, over and you will begin to prophesy and another way is when you begin to prophesy from your own insecurities, you prophesy from your own heart. The Bible says the prophet sees visions from the heart, their own heart. A prophet is, uh, he can share his heart. But the, the thing is, when you prophesy, when you give the word of the Lord, amen, you need to give the word of the Lord from the heart of God, not your own heart. And sometimes God will allow you to sense and feel things, amen, before you speak things. Sometimes God will let you have a burden, amen, and, and God will release what he feels on you. And then from that dimension, mention you began to how can i say prophesy but before you prophesy you need to be able to interpret whether you are sensing the heart of god or your own heart you need to sometimes because you know the prophetic gifting any person that's in the office of the prophet will understand this that it's like you are become like a sponge you become you consume your environment you consume, you can walk into places and sense things that other people are not sensing. And uh, a lot of giftings, in, you know, especially in the apostles and the prophets, I mean, uh, and the pastors, many of them uh, began to, how can they speak down on the prophetic, speak down on the gift of the prophet, saying, yeah, it's just schizophrenia, bipolar. That's the reason why people need to understand the importance of prophets being in trained, being equipped, being, how can I say, taught the word of God, because there's a lot of prophets that operate with strong, mighty gifts, amen, but they are dysfunctional in their emotions, they are dysfunctional in their lives, in their families, so uh, when there's a level of dysfunction in the prophetic ministry, people will begin to prophesy from the, that level of dysfunction, so it's important for all prophets to get healed, all prophets to get delivered, just because you are powerful and God is using you doesn't mean you're okay, and uh, if you do not heal at the, 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 how can I say, and your gift is growing at a certain pace and you do not yield and you keep on prophesying from your dysfunction, a spirit will take over. Amen. Another spirit will begin to take over. So it's important for you to understand this where you surrender to God and do not allow what has happened to you to be the lens from which you prophesy.